Hi and welcome! In this tutorial we will learn how to do descriptive statistics in Python. More speci specifically we will use pandas. Uh, we will use numpy also but you can get the same results using only pandas except for when simulating the data as I have done here then we need to use numpy but you probably have your own data and you can use that just follow uh, basically the same procedure as I do here. So we start by importing pandas as pd and numpy as np if we are to use numpy. So I have simulated some data. It's not really important as I said but I have a data set here and I create a pandas data frame here with uh, some reaction time data and I have two independent variables. I just made them up so we start by importing the stuff like that. Now we have a data frame called data and we want to uh, have a look at it. The easiest way but it, that will not give us that much information is just to use describe on that data frame. But you will see what I mean when I get the output. So yeah, I get one of the independent variables here. Uh, and yeah, it's the one with the numbers, but we're typically interested in grouping the data, right? Because uh, we want to have a look at the, the mean, maybe, of the different combination pairs of uh, of independent variables, so noise and maybe Q can be a different groups we're interested in. So we have to group the data and it's easy. We call it group data, a new variable that we use the group by method that can be carried out on, on the data frame object we created here earlier. So and we want to have a look at uh, both our independent variables. If you have more, you can just put them in a list here, as you can see I am doing for IV1 and IV2. So this will group our data, and we can run the same, same uh, describe method on this data but we wa want to have a look at the RT because we don't really care about the mean of the ID that's just the number that each subject have so that's not really information we are interested in, right? so let's do describe and spell it right like this and I unstack the output also it will give us a uh, nicer table like this. So here you have the pairs, noise, group 1, noise, group 2, noise, group 3 and so on. And you have in the column names you have mean, standard deviation and so on. So you can see here. Pretty neat. Yeah, you have the column names here as so you know what which IV or independent variable that is in each col in which column they are right so that was pretty simple right but maybe we just want to look at the central tendency the average or the middle of our, our data so with the pandas it's pretty simple and I will show you a method to use both pandas and numpy uh, and I think that I these methods are the most common methods when it comes to doing descriptive statistics in Python. Uh, so let's have a look at the mean only for the reaction time uh, in the different uh, independent variables, the pairs of the independent variables. So we have our group data and we want to have a look at the RT only, right? 
and we can do the mean here. So we just apply the method mean and reset index to get a nicer output. So you can see here we have the RT for the different pairs. So this group number three is the slowest in noise. They are also slower in the quiet condition. Right. So that was pretty simple. Uh, you can also use the method aggregate and then you have to input put what kind of um, information you want to be calculated. So we have our grouped data RT and we aggregate and we put NP mean here. So that's the NumPy mean. We will get the same table as just doing mean but you could input other and np numpy methods if you'd like to so right let's see yeah see it's exactly the same table but maybe you want to have a look at the standard deviation or something then you can input that well that was all. Now you know how to do a uh, very simple descriptive statistics using pandas and numpy. And I hope you enjoyed it. You can have a look at um, my blog post where I also have a lot of other type of descriptive statistics uh, using different methods. If you want to calculate the geometric mean, you have to import that from SkyPy. I will do a video of that also. So make sure to subscribe to this channel if you don't really, if you don't do it already. And uh, that's all. Thanks.